Hey there. Uh, this is just going to be a test recording. Um, I kind of wanted to well, explain in, in this video what's going on here. So we have a seat right there, right there, which is going to be for my dad, which he's going to call himself Stormin Norman. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but hey, it works. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to come up with anything. So, yeah, so Stormin Norman, and he wants to call me Chocolate, which is not going to happen. Okay, that's just not going to happen. I said no to that. Um, and basically, my goal is to oversee my father's YouTube channel. So it's basically going to be both of our YouTube channel. Like both of us, uh, the YouTube channel is going to belong to both of us. Um, because without me, he wouldn't be able to do it. And without him, I probably would just quit altogether. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is, uh, you know, testing levels and such. And actually I'm gonna have to put on my headphones. Uh, so let's test that. This is testing the saxophone with my headphones on. These are Sennheiser... Uh, I think they're custom made by Mastrop. Hang on. Uh, Sennheiser HD58X Jubilees. Which uh, so far have uh, been really, really good. And I don't have any actual complaints other than... One, they don't block out sound. Although I expected that because these are fully open back headphones. And, um, and even then, they're, they go loud enough without distortion that I can actually listen to them even with like my fan at pretty much full speed so that's pretty cool um <clears throat> let's see they are 150 ohm headphones which i was under the impression that uh you will always need very very um high impedance outputs on your uh, I don't think that's the right term, but that's the term I'm going to use because I don't care. Um, uh, high impedance uh, outputs um, to the headphones. And I recently learned that the volts is actually uh, 100 uh, ohm. They can, it, it's made for 100 ohm headphones. That's what it can drive to, the, to its full potential. Uh, although it can drive these. And the volt, if you guys don't know, is actually the, the thing that's recording this uh, mess. At least the microphone anyway. Um, the camera is way over there. It's like, it's more than three meters ahead of me. And, uh, I'm actually having to turn quite a bit and crank my neck to, uh, to look at you. I see you. Don't think I can. Stop picking your nose. Oh, geez. That reminds me of Andre. Anyway, this will probably be the first video or the last video before uh, Storm and Norman sitting there, and I'm sitting here, and I will be will be probably testing the microphone situation, the volt, because uh, we don't actually have two outputs um, for headphones. We only have one, and I'm using it right now. And uh, we're gonna be recording with two Mac Minis. I actually have set up here as a Mac Mini under this MacBook Air, which I think you can barely see. It's right there. And that's a, they're both 2011 Mac Minis, but one uh, has uh, two 7200 RPM drives in it, because that's the server model. And that's the one that uh, doesn't have a, actually no, that's a 2010. So I have a 2010 uh, server model, and then a 2011 normal model. Uh, and being, being, well, I'm gonna, we'll, only, we'll only be recording audio with uh, them. It it stands to reason that you won't really need more than a Core 2 Duo to do most of your stuff. Unless you need to use like newer applications that don't run on like macOS 10.13 High Sierra. Which uh, I'm starting to run into limitations for that. So that kind of sucks. But for the most part, it seems okay. I mean, this is also running High Sierra, so... And it's this is recording uh, my microphone from uh, the Volt as well. Which, these are Shure microphones. Uh, I don't know what models, but uh, yeah. 
Apparently, they cost $400 each, and that's to rent them, not even to buy them. But we can keep them uh, for as long as we uh, want to, apparently. <clears throat> we also have a Moog grandmother that that is being... Uh, actually, it's just on the floor of uh, the upstairs area of our house. So directly above me uh, on, these, on the, the ground floor. Because this is technically the basement, um, but it's also a home theater, so... This is probably going to go in the uh, like the updates, like the update video for March 2023. My MacBook uh, Pro is getting serviced right now, so I can't really edit it because my pro my project and all my project files are located on that drive. Even I, I did make a backup because they they have to replace the entire main board. Like what the fuck? Why? So they're going to replace my entire main board. So I had to make a backup on an external hard drive. Uh, which is about uh, 500 gigs in total, excluding the bootcamp partition. I'm just gonna, I, I just kind of wrote that off as a loss. I have to reset that up, like all of it. So I could probably edit it right now if I wanted to, but it's, I don't, I, I, there's no real reason to. But this is like March 31st, so I'm sorry the, the video isn't gonna be up today. Uh, you're not gonna see this until like way later, but uh, yeah. So this camera is filming at uh, 4K 30. Uh, and what that means is, uh, well, motion isn't going to be as smooth, but it'll be in a much higher resolution by about four times above 1080p, as you could kind of expect. So there's a camera there, there's a camera, there's no camera there, but it's on, it's actually just sitting on one of the subwoofers because, uh, well, I, I guess my dad hasn't set that up yet. I'll be positioning the cameras when we're actually going to have a table. Because for some reason, he thinks that this camera facing me, that camera facing him, and these two microphones, the way they're situated, is going to be like, okay, uh, hi, Storm and Norman. But no, I doubt that's going to be how it is. Because it's just immersive, and it doesn't really work very well. And that's just kind of how it is. So uh, if this is what ends up being used, I'm sorry. I couldn't talk him out of it. But uh, I explained to him that an immersion is not good for y the YouTube algorithm because a person has to watch most of the way through the video for the algorithm to boost the video from that view. Well, for the most part. I mean, if you really want to be successful. He thinks that if we have a whole bunch of infrastructure uh, that we'll be able to make it just like regardless. But no, I explained to him that you actually probably should just have the person watch the entire video because if you don't, we're like we're not going to be covering like current events maybe in shorts maybe that's something that we'll do in short like this is probably going to be more of like a talk show except it's not going to be live because we can't drag a pc in here to um uh, there's a whole bunch of reasons why we don't do that one of the reasons is we can't just drag a pc in here to do all the the hard work for uh streaming to youtube plus the quality is going to be much worse if we're streaming plus our upload speed kind of sucks it's probably better than most people's, but it's def we don't we definitely don't have symmetrical internet. That's never gonna happen. But we have we have half gig down, so that's pretty good, at least to me. <clears throat> so let's see. This is the home theater, uh, seven point two point six uh surround sound system, which I believe is do either I think it's Dolby Atmos compliant. I might be saying the wrong thing there, but I think it's Dolby Atmos compliant. You can check uh out the the tour of the home theater when all this stuff wasn't in here, and it was just the home theater system, which uh, is a two-parter series that I that I made, which the production value on that was actually significantly higher than pretty much any other video that I've ever made up to that point. This is actually probably the most production value video you've seen up to this point, because well, we have lighting, although it's not being utilized, uh, we just, it's just the, the home theater lighting up there, um, up above me, so it's probably looking pretty, pretty horrible. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can plug, uh, or if I can get the, the lights, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get the lights going. Hold on. Yeah, they don't work.